is a universal language. I know a renegade soldier when I see one. Never occurred to me that one might come from above. Space invasion. Big car chase. Truth be told, I was ready to hang it up till I met you today. So you're not from around here. It's hard to explain. I keep having these memories. I see flashes. I think I had a life here. But I can't tell if it's real. No idea what threats are out there. We can't do this alone. We need you. I'm not what you think I am. How's it going, everybody? It is finally here just saw the captain marvel trailer and i must say i was actually very impressed very excited for this movie to come out i think it's going to be amazing real quick just a reminder about the giveaway i'm doing i'm giving away a copy of avengers infinity war on blu-ray a special edition poster and some special infinity war memorabilia all you have to do to enter is subscribe to my channel like this video and comment below with your thoughts and your favorite superhero Okay, so there's some stuff to break down, so let's get right into it. It starts off with her falling from space, and funny enough, she lands in a blockbuster, because we know this is taking place in the 90s, and what better way to show that than to show a blockbuster. So she falls into the blockbuster, and Nick Fury starts narrating. Then we see her walk into the world, right? This is kind of foreign to her. She's walking around, and everything is super confusing, because this is not her planet and then you can hear Nick Fury call her a soldier and it's true she is with Star Force and she's wearing her green Star Force uniform and Star Force is basically described as the Navy SEALs of the Kree so it seems like Nick Fury finds her perhaps he saw her when she fell and then kind of followed her around because he says that he never thought one of these soldiers would come from above so he definitely knows that she's an alien we go on to see this scene where he knocks on the glass of what looks like a phone booth and this is clearly where they meet for the first time. Again, it seems like he's been following her around, probably saw her fall out of the sky. And judging by some of these other clips, it clearly seems like he has ran into aliens before. And then we see for the very first time, live action, Captain Marvel shooting energy out of her hands. And it looks amazing. It really does. It, it's done very well. I think she might be hunting Scroll here. I think that might be what brings her to Earth. Even though she crash lands, I think that maybe perhaps she was supposed to come to Earth in the first place. Or perhaps she's just trying to help Nick Fury out and realizes that there are Scroll on here and she needs to take care of him. So then Nick Fury says, So you're not from around here. And Carol Danvers says, It's hard to explain. And from this point on, Carol Danvers is the one narrating the trailer. So the next scene that we have is actually of the Kree homeworld, which is very interesting. We have never seen it before, so this is really awesome to see. Then we go on to a series of flashback scenes. So we know that Captain Marvel isn't going to be an origin story movie, at least not in the typical way. She goes on to say that she keeps having these memories and flashbacks and that she thinks she had a life on Earth, but she can't tell if they're real. 
So as she's saying this, we're seeing all these flashes of when she was an Air Force pilot, when she was going through Air Force training, when she was a kid. So although this is not going to be a typical origin movie, we are going to see a little bit of a glimpse of who she was before she became Captain Marvel. You see her fall down in her Air Force uniform and it cuts to her hand and you can see this blue energy circling around it and this is probably right where she gets her powers. She gets her powers from a Kree explosion in the comics so it seems like they're kind of sticking along the same storyline there from her getting her powers from an explosion. Then we have this very interesting scene where she's upside down in this device and sort of lasers going into her head. It clearly seems like the Kree are erasing her memory of when she was a human on Earth. So for whatever reason, that seems to be what's going on here. And this is why she feels like she used to have a life on Earth, but all she has is these flashbacks that kind of creep in every now and then, and she doesn't know if they're real or not, because they're clearly erasing her memory. We then see her on the Kree homeworld again with Star Force, and then we see Jude Law, who is still not officially confirmed to play Marvel, but if they kind of take it the comic book route, he should be playing Marvel. Marvel is who helps Carol Danvers sort of harness her powers and eventually become Captain Marvel. More flashbacks of her when she was a kid, when she was an Air Force pilot, and then Scrolls. So introducing the Scrolls, clearly going to be at least one of the main villains in this movie. You see them come up on the beach and then you see Carol Danvers just punch this old lady in the face and that's clearly because she's a Skrull. If you're not familiar with who the Skrull are, they can shapeshift. So it's not just some poor old lady that she punches, it's clearly a Skrull in disguise. And then we see young Agent Coulson. We've seen young Nick Fury now with two eyes, but we never saw young Coulson, so this is pretty cool. Him and Fury have worked together for such a long time. Clearly this takes place in the 90s and they have such a fun dynamic between the two of them. I'm really excited to see this on screen. We also see a very brief clip of Ronan the Accuser. At this point in time in Captain Marvel, he is not the crazy Kree fanatic that we know from Guardians of the Galaxy, but it is most likely that we're going to see him become that in this movie. So then we see Fury and we see the pager that we saw at the end of Avengers Infinity War. So we'll learn more about that in this movie. Then we have this really awesome scene of Star Force in space. So it looks like they're jumping from their ship, going somewhere else. But what's awesome here is Captain Marvel is wearing her helmet. I was wondering if we were going to get this in the movie. I am so excited that we do. And then we see this explosion, and if you look, she is still in her Air Force uniform. So this seems like it's clearly when she gets her powers. It shows her hand, and you can clearly see the energy going into her body. So although not a typical origin story, we are going to see how she got her powers and a little bit of who she was before she became Captain Marvel. Another scene with her wearing her helmet again, I love it. Seems like she's holding onto this bar for some reason. Maybe she's in space, I'm not sure, but I love the fact that we're having scenes where she's wearing her helmet. And then we have this final scene where she says, I'm not what you think I am. And then we see for the very first time, Captain Marvel, full power, energy circling all around her. This is what makes Captain Marvel so strong. This is why they're saying Captain Marvel is going to be the strongest character in the MCU because of her powers. So she has the ability to control and project energy, but she can also absorb energy. And when she does absorb energy and she projects that energy out as an attack, it has the power of a nuclear bomb. So that's what we see right here. Her harnessing all of this energy looks like she's about to explode on somebody. This trailer was amazing. It was fantastic. I really loved it. I'm really excited and looking forward to seeing Captain Marvel when it comes out now. Not that I wasn't before, but this is awesome. This really did blow me away. So what did you all think? I want to know all your thoughts and opinions. Let me know in the comments below. Another reminder about the giveaway I'm doing, I'm giving away a copy of Avengers Infinity War, a special edition poster, and some special memorabilia as well. I'll put the link for the memorabilia in the description below, be sure to check it out. All you have to do to enter is subscribe to my channel, like this video, and comment below with your thoughts and your favorite superhero. Thank you all so much for watching, woof woof.